So, it is currently March 13th, which means that I am currently less than 24 hours out from starting my prep, my cut for the Summer Shredding Classic 2021. And this is such an exciting sign for me right now because I've literally been looking forward to this for like two years. I stepped on stage two years ago, competed in my first show, uh, competed in men's physique, and it was without a doubt the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I lost around 32 pounds, got down to 4% body fat. As hard, as, as difficult as that may sound in itself, there is so, so much that goes into it. Mentally, clearly physically, but this time around, I wanna document every step of the way. I wanna document the good, the bad, the pretty, the ugly. I can genuinely say, when I competed two years ago, I have never gotten that level and that feeling of achievement and accomplishment from anything else. I'm so excited. I've been, I mean, I've literally been in the gym two years building as much muscle as possible. So I'm ready to step on stage more shredded than I was last time and kill that shit. I'm trying to win that shit. I'm trying to win that show this year. Starting tomorrow is just kind of a whole, a whole different mindset, a whole different mentality from that day until the end of prep. And two years ago when I started my prep, which was basically the peak of my bulk, um, I started at 186 pounds and probably sitting around uh, 10 to 12% body fat. This time around, I'm sitting, I've been sitting around 195 pounds, between 193, 195 pounds, and at probably about 10% body fat, um, I would estimate. So I've gained, I think, a significant amount of muscle while being just as lean, if not leaner. So I did the bulk right, and now it's just time to do this prep right and prepare as much as humanly possible. I'm so ready for this shit. I'm Let's get it. I'm about to go murder my arms. So today is day two of prep and I didn't record yesterday, the first day at all, edited a lot, but didn't record anything. So basically starting weight, sitting at 190 pounds. That was my weight yesterday. Woke up this morning at 188.8. So basically yesterday I set my macro, set my calories for the first week. And but what I'm doing is I'm starting with a high amount of calories, high amount of carbs, high amount of fat, 190 grams of protein. That won't change without prep. But the concept is you want to start very near your maintenance calories, which is the amount of calories that your body naturally relies on every day to maintain the weight that you're at. So not lose weight, not gain weight. And the goal is to slowly work your way down week by week. So when you get to your show day, you are at peak level like you look the best you could possibly look that is the overall goal on competition day you want to look the best you've looked throughout that entire prep so i started my calories out at 3010 with 360 grams of carbs 190 grams of protein 90 grams of fat i quickly realized that is way too low of calories for me to start with so let me explain that my job I burn way too many calories 
for me to even one be concerned about cardio this early on in prep and two to have that low of calories um, i'm on my feet constantly moving for between like five and seven hours i'm burning through calories so it's going to be important for me to keep my calories higher than I normally would if I didn't have this job because I don't want to find myself in a situation to where I am damn near ready to step on stage six, seven weeks out. I could see that that's something that could very easily happen if I'm not careful to keep my calories and my carbs high. So today I adjusted my macros. I upped my calories to about 3,200 and I kept my carbs and my protein the same. I just upped my fats. I think I set my... <sighs> Mallard wants to come in. I set my fats to 110 grams. So 20 grams higher than yesterday. That gave me about... I think that gave me like 180 calories to play with or something. You can see Mallard's tail down here. It's my cat. This is Mallard. He doesn't really like being held. I don't know why he's letting me hold him right now, but I'm gonna let him go before he starts flipping out. But yeah, so I think high calories, high carbs for right now, for at least this first two, three weeks. I do not need to be fucking deathly hungry for a while. Hit the first workout of this prep, which was chest and back this morning, murdered my back murdered it i'm gonna be sore as hell tomorrow tomorrow I have arms so throughout the entirety of this prep i'm gonna be doing the arnold split so basically it's a six day split but i'm gonna be in the gym for seven days so what that looks like is the first day is third day is shoulders and legs and then the next day after that is a rest day basically my rest days i'm still gonna be in the gym it's just gonna be very light i'm gonna do calves abs posing and any other things I feel like I need to touch up on. So that might be, might hit a few sets on bench, might hit a few sets on squat, but regardless, it's gonna be very light. So starting today, throughout the rest of this prep, posing every single day. Last year when I competed, that was the number one thing that held me back was my posing. My stage presence was not on point how it should have been. It wasn't horrible. I do remember at the very beginning of my prep, I had no concept, no knowledge on posing whatsoever. I barely knew how to do a lat spread. This time around, I have a little bit more knowledge, but in all honesty, I haven't really practiced posing in between my last show and now. So it's gonna take, it's gonna take some dedication, some practice, and some knowledge from other people. So I was kind of thinking earlier, the most growth that I've noticed throughout this two year off season has definitely been my back. My back was my weakest point last prep, last competition. I honestly think it's my second strongest point now. My strongest point is my chest and I don't see that ever changing for me. I love that I can look back over the past two years and see that I first wanted to grow my back and second, I did grow my back. So I'm gonna give a little current physique, starting physique right now, and I'm gonna try to week by week keep progress of my physique. So at the end of this prep, when I'm shredded, it's gonna be a crazy comparison. So this is my current physique at 190 pounds. So the, gotta, a little bit of abs showing. So, got some striations in the chest still. Got some abs a little bit. I'm guessing, I'm actually about to go get my body fat tested probably today, but I wanna definitely get an accurate measurement of what my body fat's at before I really start getting lean because I'm thinking it's between 10 and 12% and I'm 
shooting to get down to four. I got down to what I pretty sure was four last year. I got it tested. I know there's different levels of accuracy depending on how you get it tested, but I think I was a true 4%. I was fucking shredded. Like there was no fat on me. <laughs> so this is kind of the tricky thing about starting this prep right now. So I've been on creatine for the past month and a half, two months, and I just recently stopped taking it probably like two weeks ago. Now, creatine, especially creatine monohydrate, what it does is it floods your muscles with water. So it gives you a fuller look and ultimately it leads to more ATP, which is going to make you stronger. I gained a fuck ton of water weight in the month and a half that I took it. I want to say it was the first 10 days. I was up like nine or 10 pounds. I went from like 183 to like 194 something like that 193 194 and gained significant strength signif look significantly bigger but the thing is i wanted to get off of that before i started cutting so you could see the true shreddedness of my physique not have all that extra water that i was holding on to but with that a lot of that water weight is gone now and i weigh less and i'm already looking significantly leaner than i did two weeks ago. So I think I kind of had like an inaccurate perspective of how lean I already am. I don't even have a show date right now. I'm kind of just blindly doing this at this point. Hopefully if one gets announced soon. What I'm hearing is it's going to be sometime in June, could possibly be in July. So right now I'm kind of just playing things by ear, see how they go. I got to be careful not to dig into too much muscle, not to lose too much fat too fast. So. I gotta be prepared to pump the brakes at any point. This 14 week prep might turn into a 20 week prep. I'm not sure yet. It was just something that kind of really bothers me, but it's all good. As long as I get one in the relatively near future, it'll be straight. Day two of this cut and there's the physique update. There's my current macros. Gonna do my best to hit them as accurately as possible today. And that's all for this clip. I just wanna thank you guys right now for watching. See you guys in the next one.